Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use Bellman equation in reinforcement learning. The link for other videos on reinforcement learning is given in the description below. Do follow those videos to understand the concept of reinforcement learning. The key elements used in Bellman equations are the action performed by agent is referred to as A. State occurred by performing the action is referred to as S. The reward or feedback obtained for each good or bad action is R. And there is a discount factor which is denoted by gamma in this particular case. The Bellman equation looks something like this. V of S is always equivalent to maximum of R S comma A. That is the reward obtained by performing an action A in state S. Plus gamma that is a discount factor multiplied by V S dash that is the value in the previous state over here. Now we will try to use this particular equation and assign different values to each and every cell in a given uh, grid over here. In the previous video, I have discussed how the generalized approach works. For In that case, we have assigned uh, one to each and every cell over there. Or you can say that the previous uh, cell. Now that will not work uh, properly for all the situations. So we need to assign some different values for different cells here based on where that particular cell is present. For example, if a cell is present uh, close to this particular goal, we have to assign a maximum value in this case. So this is the grid I am going to consider for this example. Uh, the grid consists of uh, three rows and uh, four columns. The robot is or the agent is present in S9. S6 is the block here. S8 is a danger or a fire. Whenever uh, agent goes here, it will be given a reward of minus 1. And S4 is the goal here. And uh, whenever agents come to this one, it will be given a reward of plus 1 over here. Now, what we do is uh, we will start uh, from a cell which is uh, next to this particular goal state here. That is S3. Now, whenever you perform an action that is the right moment, uh, it will go through this particular goal. So, that's the reason it will be given a reward of a plus 1 over here. The equation for uh, Bellman equation looks something like this. V S3 is equal to maximum of R S A plus gamma V S dash. So in this case, R S A is equal to 1 because uh, you will get a reward of 1 whenever it goes the right side here. Gamma is equal to uh, 0.9 we will consider just for understanding purpose. That's a discount factor. And V S dash is equal to 0 in this case because the, this is the first state or the transition we have performed here. So if you put all those particular values, V S3 will become the 1 in this particular case. So I will put that particular 1 over here. Similarly, I have written the values for other states also. We will try to calculate step by step in this case. Now we have done with S3. We will try to calculate the value for S2. The same equation we will use that is V S2 is equal to maximum of R S A plus gamma or uh, V S dash. So in this case, R S A will become 0 because whenever you perform a right action, you don't get 1 here because if you go through this particular goal, you will get 1. But right now you are going to S3 here. So that's the reason R S A will be 0. As I said earlier, gamma is equal to 0.9. Feed S dash. That's a previous state's value. What is the value we have here? 1 in this case. So it will become this particular term will become 0. This will be 0 0.9 into 1 here. So that's the reason maximum of 0 0.9 into 1 V S2 is equal to 0 0.9 in this case. So that is what we got over here. Similarly, we try to calculate it for S1. That is uh, V S1 is equal to maximum of R S A plus gamma V S dash. Again, uh, R S A is equal to 0 here also. Gamma is 0 0.9 which is known to us. The previous state value is equal to 0.9. So if you put that particular thing 0.9 into 0.9, it will become 0.81. Phi S1 is equal to 0.81 here. So that's the value I have written here. Similarly, we will calculate it for S5. Uh, here also the RSA is 0, but the previous value is equal to 0 0.81. 0 0.81 multiplied by 0 0.8 is equal 0.9 is equal to 0.73 in this case. So that is S5 is equal to 0.73 here. Now I will go to S9 here. Now uh, the same approach we will follow and we will get 0.66 for S9 in this case. Now we will try to calculate it for S10. Uh, S10 we will get it uh, 0.59. So that is what I have written here. Similarly, we will go to S11 in this case. So if I go to S11, I will get 0.53 over here. The same approach I have followed. 
and then uh, I will go to S12 uh, I will get 0.48 over here so I have started in this case I have gone through this particular path I have got all the values here now uh, we have one more cell here that is S7 so I cannot go left side I cannot go right side because uh, this is the fire here if I go down uh, I am getting the previous state value is equal to 0.53 but if I consider the previous state is equal to S3 this is one here so that is a maximum so I, I have to consider this one here so for S7 you can say that the previous state is equal to 1 uh, and then RSA is of course uh, 0 here because we cannot go from S7 to S4 over here so uh, 0.9 into 1 we can consider here the previous state value is equal to 1 multiplied by 0.9 that is the gamma value we will get 0.9 over here now there is one more thing we need to consider while calculating S11 we have considered this path this is not the only path uh, what we have here if you want to reach this particular S4 from S11 you can follow this path also so we will try to calculate S11 by considering this one as the previous state rather than considering this one as the previous state in the earlier case we have considered S10 as the previous state for S11 now we will try to consider S7 as a previous state and then we will see whether there is a modification to this particular value or not so we will try to get maximum value over here so I will try to calculate S11 one more time uh, RSA is 0 of course V S dash I will consider this one now that is 0 0.9 multiplied by gamma that is 0 0.9 it will become 0 0.81 in this case so this particular 0 0.81 is greater than 0 0.53 so we will consider that as the value over here now when you consider 0.81 as the value over here we have to calculate the S12 also because while calculating S12 we have considered this as the previous state now we will see and then uh, calculate it one more time so we uh, S10 as well as S12 both we have to calculate S10 if we can calculate here again RSA is equal to 0 that's for sure this one is 0.81 multiplied by gamma that is 0 0.9 that will become 0 0.73 Previously, I have written this 0.59. Now it is 0.73. So this is the best option over here. So I will replace this with the 0.73 in this case. The same thing we have to follow this direction also, unless and until we will get uh, the uh, the least value, or you can say that if you are getting a better value, replace it over here. Now we will try to calculate it for S12 also. Uh, if I do the calculation for S12, I am getting 0.73. Uh, if I consider this one as the previous state. So if I consider uh, this 0 0.73 uh, that is better than this particular 0 0.78 for 48 so definitely it will be the best value over here. The same thing we have to repeat it again and again unless and until the, uh, we will get the final values for each and every state over here. Now once you get these particular values let us say that the robot is present in any state it can reach this particular goal state by considering the optimal path over here. Let us assume that the uh, the agent is present in S1. If it is present in S1, it will try to check the value of uh, the neighboring cells. So if it considers the right moment, it will get 0.9 as the value. If it considers the down moment, it will get 0.73. So this is the better option over here. So it will go to this particular side that is S1 to S2. So when it goes to S2, it will try to find the uh, again the uh, possible paths. So it, it, it has two possibilities. One is right and one more is you can say that the left here. So left is 0.81, right is 1, so 1 is the better option, so it will go through this particular S3 here. So S1 to S2, S2 to S3 and then S3 to goal state it can reach directly over here. When it is present in this S10 you can see, when it is present in S10, it has two possibilities, it can go left or it can go right here. Okay, so when it is present in S10, it cannot go left because the value is 0.66 as the value on the right side is more in this case. So 0 0.81 is better than 0 0.66, so it will go right side here. So when it goes to S11, again there are three possibilities, left, right and what we can say that the up here. Left is 0.73, right is 0.73, up is 0.9. So 0 0.9 is better option here, so it will go up in this case. When it is present in here, it cannot go left or right, it can go down or it can go up here. So upper value is 1 that is better than the lower one, so it will go to this S3. And from S3, it can easily go through this particular S4 over here. So whenever an uh, agent is present in any cell over here, it can find an optimal path and it will reach this particular goal state perfectly without any problem in this case. 
So this is how uh, we can use Bellman equation to assign values to each and every cell. Using this particular cell, agent can go from any state to goal state with an optimal path over here. So in this video, I have discussed how we can use Bellman equation in reinforcement learning. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.